All right, so in this video, I'll be covering in and out parameters. So basically, in and out parameter, what it does is it allows um, basically parameter values, the changes that, that you make within the function, to persist after, after the function's already been called and executed. So the parameter um, actually has to be defined as in and out. Um, so let me go ahead and show you just really quickly. So let's, uh, let's do a really simple example of one. So let's say we have a variable uh, name, we have a variable string, <clears throat> and we're going to actually equal that to, say, Bobby. Okay? And we're going to have a function that adds the last name to a name. So <laughs> we have Bobby as a first name, so what the function is going to do is going to tack on the last name to that variable name. Okay? So we're going to create a, a parameter last name, which is going to be string. And now we're going to create the in out. So what we do is we do in out, and then we're going to do two full name. And then we're going to do create. So basically, I'm creating this parameter as in out. I'm giving it an explicit name. Actually, sorry, I just the string because obviously I spelled it incorrectly. And I'm just going to name this name string so that it gives us something to work with. And this is going to be of type string. Okay. Close parentheses, curly brackets. And what this is going to do is going to tack on two names, so the variable name. And it's going to plus equal, <laughs> plus equal last name. Okay. All right. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to call the function add last name and the last name is going to be Smith. I'm going to add a space in there so that <laughs> it, uh, it's clear. And then to the full name, so what we're doing is we are using an ampersand to indicate that the value that we're going to put in there is going to be name up here. This value here, or sorry, this variable here is what's going to change. So when we, we type in name, ampersand name, it's actually going to change the value of this variable up here to Bobby space Smith. As you see, and that's exactly what it's done. So if we call name, so if we say, okay, what's name, it's going to output Bobby Smith. So we've actually changed the value of name within this function using in out. Okay? Um, I guess I can give you another example, uh, just in case that one wasn't clear. Um, for example, we can use in out to swap values. So say if we have two values, say one's fruit. And we're going to equal that to lettuce, even though lettuce is not a fruit, right? <laughs> That's why we want to swap values. And then we do vegetable or veggie, and we're going to say this is an apple. Okay, so we know that those two are not accurate whatsoever. <laughs> so we're going to actually create a function that's going to do swap. All right, so what we do, we do in and out. And then we do our first object, or uh, first object, and it's going to be the type string, which is true. And then in out our second object, and this is also the type string. Okay, 
their curly brackets. Alright, so we're going to create a temporary value. So we're going to let temp value equal the first object, because we want to flip flop them, right? And then have first object equal the second object. And then have the second object equal the temp value, because we're doing a flop here. Okay, so when we call this function, so we do swap values, you see we have the ampersand here, because we're going to actually change the value that's contained in whatever variables that we put in, right? So we're going to do fruit and then veggie. And what's going to do is we're going to flip flop those around so that when we look at them again, we'll see fruit will actually output apple, which is correct, and veggie will output lettuce. So you see the function actually changed the values of the variables that, that are actually outside of this function. They're not in here at all. We're just passing them through and saying with this ampersand that yes, you can change the value. All right, so that's uh, in and out parameters. Uh, just really quickly, I just want to let you know you can't, of course, you can't pass in a constant or a literal value as an argument because it can't be modified. Go figure. You can only pass in variables. Like say if I put in made fruit um, a constant, it's going to freaking freak out. <laughs> it's just absolutely true. It says cannot pass immutable value as in out argument. Fruit is a let constant. So you can't do that. But again, remember to use or put the ampersand. I mean, as you've seen in our function, it did put the ampersand in there just fine um, and did it for you automatically because it assumed that you wanted to change the values because you did make each of these parameters in out. And also, in out parameters cannot have default values. They cannot be veridict parameters, nor can they be marked as um, a constant or a variable. So, for example, if I decide to make this a veridict, it's probably, it's most likely will freak out on me. Yep. So we see we can't do, we cannot change it to a veridict at all. So don't do that. <laughs> um, we can't have any default values, so I can't make this uh, equal to um, orange. Yep, see, you can't convert it. You cannot have default value. Let's do that. Okay, and we can't mark it as variable, so I can't go in here and say, oh yeah, you're variable. No, it's not going to work. It's going to freaking flip out again. So, actually, I think I should have put this on this side. Either way, it's going to error out on you. <laughs> you see, it doesn't allow you to do it. So, fix it by deleting. So you can't do, you can't make the variable constant or variable inside the parameter. So, okay, that's what you can and can't do. All right.